what's good YouTube, Mosey Designer here, doing something a little different compared to the standard gaming streams and gaming highlights, I'm going to be showing some Unreal Engine 4 work, uh, I've done this in the past, but without any real narration or overview of what I was actually doing, uh, so to get things started again, I'm going to be taking a scene I made in UDK many many years ago called Aqueduct, and take a portion of it and rebuild it in Unreal Engine 4. So to get things started, let's take a look at the original scene I built uh, many years ago. So this is a scene I built in UDK. I call it Aqueduct. There was a whole aqueduct system behind it, but uh, third I just take this one corner where I had the three water wheels. I thought this was a very cool angle. Uh, when I built this, I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, this is a bit brown, as you can see, uh, but uh, I kind of like the mesh construction I did, and I figured it'll be a fun project to recreate in. Uh, UE4 using the assets provided. So, taking this snapshot of the level, I'm going to rebuild it um, with the assets that are available in Unreal Engine 4. So, as soon as I open Unreal, I have a blank scene, just a basic square, some basic lights, and I'm going to get started from this point to build the level. So the first thing I do is I put up uh, kind of my wall, my back wall, where I'm going to get started and kind of build the foundation of the level from here. Next I added uh, three uh, cylinder shapes where I wanted the water wheels to be based on the original design from the UDK scene. Expanding upon the water wheels by adding the uh, water troughs below each water wheel again in gray box form. Uh, added a little more walls that go higher to line up with the top end of where the water wheels would be. Now I'm starting to add in some of the structural shape with the, the position of the pillars for the building. Adding some more geometry shapes with gray box, adding uh, roof angles where I think roofs could be based on the original design. Here I added in the top water troughs that would drop water from above to the water wheel below. Adding some more background geometry uh, behind the scene for the additional structures that I'll add later in visual details. At this point I've added in the railings in the foreground to determine the boundary of my scene. And I've also added some additional ramps to kind of give a sense of space, help people to get in or out of this uh, portion of the level or scene that I'm building. Adding in some background structures to the skybox area to match kind of the same positioning I had from the original UDK scene. And at this point, the gray box is also in a completed stage. Now I'm beginning a static mesh pass, just replacing my gray box with some core static meshes, such as in this case, I'm adding a floor mesh. Then I started a vignette, uh, my water wheel, and a little archway window where I had the roof and wall set up originally in the gray box. Continuing with the meshing, I'm now expanding on the pillars and structural foundation of the scene along with the water wheel and more of the window and rooftop shapes. Here I pretty much uh, did a full vignette of my shapes and my designs that I'd like to use and from here I kind of copy paste and duplicate what I liked in this small corner of the scene. As you can see the scene starting to come together, having more life, having more structure beyond a gray box. Now I've replaced the uh, second gray box water wheel with the water wheel I've already built in static mesh and in the next scene after that you'll see the same uh, shapes duplicated to the third water wheel.
at this point you can see a big transformation from the gray box state to a more uh, detailed uh, visual state but keeping the same essence of what I wanted to build from the UDK design and the gray box. At this stage I am at a point where the visuals are pretty much locked in for most of the scene. Starting to add in some decorations, add in some statues, some staircases to fill in some of the gaps that were in the gray box. At this stage, the gray box is completely gone. Every piece of the gray box is now. Uh, added with a static mesh and I pretty much have my visual direction of where I want to go with this scene. To clear up some of the monotony of just stone, I'm adding in some uh, organic shapes like rocks and trees, grass to add some more shapes and colors that can pop away from just the or, uh, uh, non-organic structure. Finally added in some small crates and doodads to fill in the gaps on the floor, again to just break up the space and not just feel like one big floor. Now I've started a lighting pass, I kind of want to go with a overcast or dreary feel, so it was my first attempt at uh, pulling this off with the uh, light, li light settings in Unreal. Here things got a bit too green, but uh, again just experiment with settings, uh, I tried to add some more color variations with torches, so it's not just all one color. Again messing with more settings, this time it went too, more, too much purple really not getting that right overcast or dreary feel I wanted to get with my scene. After enough trial and error I finally got the light settings I liked, definitely got the dreary feel I wanted to go for, which is in stark contrast from the original brown color that I built many many years ago, but I would kept uh, add some other colors as well, like you get the green pop from the foliage and some slight touches of orange to break the blue contrast from the windows as there's lights emanating behind those uh, buildings to add some uh, spots of color in the scene. So as a recap, this is where we started from, a scene I built in UDK many, many years ago. To recreate the recreate same scene, I first did a gray box pass and eventually step by step filling the gray box with visuals and lighting to get to the final result that you see at the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you like this stuff, please comment and subscribe. And in the future, I'll be doing some Unreal Engine tutorials as well to teach you guys what I know about Unreal Engine to help you build scenes like this or scenes that are even better than this. Thank you very much. Take care. I'll see you next time.